Welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. But in today's video, I'm going to show you guys my top six fragrances for the spring. Um, I have five here that I already had and then there's one that I purchased and I thought I'd show it to you guys too because I absolutely love the way it smells. And I love perfume and you guys will see one of them are pretty, pretty empty. <laughs> but um... This is just something that I like to keep. I like different scents throughout the spring, different scents throughout the, the winter, fall, etc. So I'm just going to jump right into it, guys, and start with the first one. And the first one, it is Marc Jacob Daisy Love. Um, it's the Oh So Sweet. And this one, I did a video on this, and I feel that this scent here... It's not a perfume, so just keep that in mind. However, it's a very light scent. This is something that I would wear to the gym, just a couple of spritz, and to bed. And if I'm going to like a park, maybe. Um, I don't want anything too, too strong in the sun. But so this is something that I would wear. I hope you guys can see that. I hope it focuses. Yeah. Um. So yes, this is Daisy Love, Marc Jacobs. Oh, so sweet. And the bottle is like really, really cute, which I absolutely love this. I love it. So this is one that I would get. I'm going to link everything below for you guys. These are all ranging from maybe 100 to 150 or 140 maybe. Not that much. Um, That's that. The second one is, I purchased this um, Farragamo from, I don't know if you guys can see that. I purchased this from, sorry. Can you guys see? Let me let it focus. Uh, is it going to focus? I don't know. I don't know. But I purchased this from... An outlet mall actually and you guys know sometimes you're in the outlet mall and you kind of on the checkout line they have perfume so I didn't know what this smelled like when I purchased it but I really love this and it's just I don't know if they have others but it's just Salvador Farragamo perfume that's it I'm gonna see if I can get the exact name because it doesn't say anything and I'll show you guys this other perfume that I bought it's pretty much the same thing um, it doesn't really have a name. It just says Salvador Farragamo. So, that's this one. The bottle is pretty big, too. Well, it could be because of the shape of it. But, this is my second one. I use this not every day. I'm um, just depending, but... So, as you guys can see, it's kind of down a little bit. The next one is... Joe Malone Poppy and Barley... Um, I hope you guys can see that. Poppy and Barley. This one, I love. And this is a, what is this? 3.4 fluid ounce. Um, I think this is a good size bottle to get, honestly. There's a smaller one, but I just kind of feel like, what's the point of getting the small one? Because you're going to have to still go back and purchase it more, especially if you really like it. So, this is Joe Malone, Poppy and Barley. Absolutely love Look, this was actually my first Joe Malone purchase, and I fell in love with this one. So that's Poppy and Barley. And then I have Armani C. Giorgio Armani C. This is, like, gone, guys. So, <laughs> I love this. This is why it looks like this. This is probably my fourth bottle. Um, I should have purchased some today, but I ended up getting something else. I wanted to try something different. So this this is a must. I think every woman should have this in her collection. If you like, this gives me like, I don't know, I'm 40. So I like, I like certain mature scents. I don't think this is too strong for the spring. I just think it's, it's amazing. This young lady that I met when I went to Qatar, she had it on. And I just was like, oh my God, this smells so good. And ever since then, I've been getting it. Um, and... The fifth one I have is, again, another Joe Malone. 
and this is mimosa cardamom i hope i'm pronouncing this right because i hope you guys can see that i don't know if it's focusing i'm horrible with focusing guys i really am i'm gonna get it together one day i promise um but this yeah yeah this this i don't know to me this kind of smells like Everybody, anybody who knows Fahrenheit from back in the day, it's given me Fahrenheit and a hint of something else. I I, I can't explain it, but ugh, I, 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 this is this is awesome. So honestly, all of the Joe Malones, I don't want to say all of them, but there's like a good four that I like a lot. But I didn't want to overdo it with a whole bunch of Joe Malone um, perfumes. And the last one is. I purchased this today and this is the oh god you guys can't see it this is the Miss Dior perfume um they have a bunch of different ones but this is kind of like the Salvador Ferragamo where it doesn't say an actual name it just says perfume so I don't know I'm just gonna open it up so you guys can see it because it looks really bright yeah and I'm in my closet today again, guys, so don't mind me since I'm in here. And I don't know. I'm going to just... It's so bright. I'm sorry that you guys can't see this. The box is not really bright. It's like a really light, light pink color. And Sephora has a sale right now. I believe it's 10% off. But by the time this video goes up, it may be over. So, and the bottle is so cute. This smells so good. I sprayed it on my hand today. Oh, yes. Mm. <laughs> this one is good. So, this is going to be added to my collection for this spring, guys. And I love it. I think it's a pretty good collection. Nothing too much. You don't need a whole bunch. There's only a few months for the spring. Um, so, but this one, I would wear this in fall. I would wear this in fall. I would wear the C in fall. I would wear, um, maybe the poppy and barley. I think I would do the poppy and barley in the fall too. Uh, maybe the mimosa one, not sure. But that's it, guys. So these are all of the ones that I like for the spring for me. And I think these are all pretty affordable. Um, I do want to get the um, Tom Ford. I think it's called Sole Nige. Nige? Oh, gosh, it smells so good. I'm not really a fan of Sole Blanc. I don't really like the way it smells. Um, so I'm not going to waste my money on it. But I do like Soleil Nige and I should have gotten it when Nordstrom's had a sale. And I wanted the bigger bottle so I'm just going to wait for it because um, it is pricey. But for now I have these here and I am satisfied with them for now until I get some more and the urge to purchase some more. But that's it guys. If you like videos like this, please let me know in the comment box. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco we see you. And don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button guys. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hold on, before you guys go, if you stay to, this, to the end of this video, please comment Coco we see you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.